Hey Norma, I'm making this video for you. So right now I'm on my iPad, but because it's iOS, say you can do the same thing on your iOS device. And if you have um, a MacBook Pro with an M1 chip, uh, you can also do the same interface as well. Just make sure to download the Teleplay green screen app. That's what it's called. Um, and if you have a MacBook that doesn't have an M1 chip, you can wait for the version, which will be for the non M1 chip um, within about a month, or you can use pickpulsei.com if you want to use it on your desktop too. But for now, I'm just going to show you what you can do on iOS, which means that this is for iPad and iPhone. <clears throat> so here we have the bracelet right here in the photo gallery section of my iPad. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to save it to my, the file section of my device. I'll show you later why I did that. And now we're going to open up the Teleplay app. Sorry, I haven't been sleeping well. Anyways, so when you're interface, when you're in this interface right here, make sure. Oh yeah, it'll when you download the app, make sure to opt into all the prompts which say permission to camera. And once you do that, go to the gear icon, make sure the pick pulse button is on, and then the email field. Enter the email address you used to purchase pick pulse because that unlocks all the paid content, which is here. And okay. So there are two ways to use PicPulse. The first way is to add foreground effects on top of existing photos or videos. So if you click on your background from photo library, then click on this, ah, sorry, wrong picture, click on this. Okay, now we have your bracelet here. So on your website, it says your designs are inspired by nature's textures, urban energy, and industrial authenticity. So what if we go to kind of that vibe? Um, so what if we go to the reveal category? A lot of cool effects here. So industrial, I'm thinking maybe something like this. So you just, to use an effect, just download it, wait for it to download. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. Then you can resize it like this. Oh, I don't know, I kind of like that. So let's say you like this scene. So all you have to do is hold the record button for two seconds and notice how there's a timer that shows you how long the video will be. Okay, maybe that's long enough. Wait for it to process. Okay, now it's gonna be in your photo and video library. So we went from that to this. Okay. Okay. You can also have more than one effect at the same time. So for example, what if we add some sparkle effects once you um, open up the box? So what if we do, okay, this may not be the best looking scene, but I just want to show you the interface. Okay, so now we have edge glitter on top. Maybe let's, okay, now what if we want the edge glitter effect to be below the safe? So we just do, go here, move it, boom, okay. And you'll notice it's, notice how the frame rate's a little bit lower. Um, when you actually make the video recording, it's going to be nice and smooth. What, uh, what you're seeing here, it's basically like a, a preview of what, it's kind of what you see is what you get. It is, but the frame rate will be much smoother in the final recording. Um, okay. So another cool thing I wanted to show you. Oh yeah, here you can, if you hold on it, not, you can delete an effect. Or you can also, if you want, adjust the speed which can be, so if you set it below one, it'll be a slower effect in the final recording. Here you can mirror the effect and you can also make it more or less transparent. Okay, so for now, let's delete it. Another thing I wanna show you, if you click on this, maybe, I don't know, now do this. Just a nice line. So this is a sparkle effect. Okay, and it acts just like any other foreground effect, or you can go to glowing line. So this, this um, 
you can control the speed of it. The lower the time, the faster the effect will be. So what if we do something like this? <coughs> okay, so you get the idea. Now, second way to use pick pause is this. Go to your foreground, click on the background removal tool, and this selects from the files on your device. That's why I previously saved your bracelet as a file. So that way we can go to this, remove the background, And by the way, this, you can uh, do PNG files, upload PNG files. This can do AI generated effects. So again, we click on this, save in the app. Okay, now really cool. We can now use any background here. So let's go to 3D surfaces. There's a lot under photo preview. do something that I think can work well. Hmm. No. Oh, this would have been perfect if the table was at a different angle. kind of this one's kind of hard to do because it's at um oh yeah maybe this angle can work okay let's say it works okay so we hold let's do this this is gonna be cool so now we can also make a shadow let's maybe do that oh okay let's let's try to maybe find one which fits the um, the perspective a little better. Ah, okay, I think this looks pretty cool. Okay. You can also keep in mind, you can also do a video background, but I want to keep the focus on the actual bracelet. And now we can continue adding foreground effects on top. So... I think you get the gist of it um, after seeing this, but I'm here if there are any questions. Let me think. What if we did just do something really simple, like um, sparkle and particle effects is one of my favorites because, oh, nature, how about we do something with nature, but how about butterflies? It's one of my favorite effects in the app is all the way down here. Kind of like keep the focus on, oh. Oh. Okay. And keep in mind, if you want music, this is how to do it. So go, oh, okay, sorry. The sound will be back on by early next week or maybe even today. Um, I'll show you how to do that later. Uh, this, you can add custom animated cinematic text. So if you download one of the text options, download, wait for it to download, then you can type whatever wording you want. Um, so Norma, please let me know if this video helps and I'm here if there are any questions. By the way, you can also just do that.